For Next.js, here's what you need to know about SSR, CSR, BBC, SSG, and ISR. What the fuck? They are rendering strategies to determine when and where the HTML and JavaScript are generated and rendered for each page. This question might pop up. What's that supposed to mean? For example, here are the steps in SSR. As you can see in my artistic drawing, when a user enters a website, a request is sent to the server. Then a fully rendered HTML with no interactivity is created and sent back by the server. To make it interactive, browser downloads the JavaScript part from the server and then after executing it, we have a fully interactive website. This improves the performance on slow devices because almost all of the job relies on the server. We also get better SEO and faster initial load. However, with CSR, the browser downloads a minimal HTML page and the needed JavaScript. That JavaScript then renders the page using DOM manipulation. The user will first see a blank page or a delay before they can see the full page, which contains a ginormous penis. This is because the page isn't fully rendered until all the JavaScript is downloaded, parsed, and executed. This gives us faster navigations but a slower initial load. SSG or a static site generation. The fastest way to load your pages since a fully rendered HTML is available immediately after each build. The result is saved in next slash static which can be saved on a CDN to make it even faster for global users. As the name suggests, it only works for static websites like blogs, documentations, and portfolios where you don't need dynamic data. The second fast way to render HTML is ISR. It's kinda a combination of SSG and SSR. You will generate the HTML at the build time but you can also update that HTML on a regular basis using revalidation. Here's how it works. A user visits the website and gets the cached version of the HTML. If the revalidation time is expired, which is defined here, a new HTML file will be generated in the background. So when the next user visits the page, the HTML is updated thanks to the previous user. Then all the new users will also see the new version, including the first user. Tell me in the comments if you like an extended video about this topic. Thank you for watching and try to have a good day.